going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. This is the one month review of the New Balance Tequila V4 in the low model. And I'm very excited to share why these are probably in my top five football boots of 2023 and why they are a consistent performer in my rotation. Let's start straight off with the sole plate. Now the sole plate, as we spoke about in the unboxing of the original laceless model football boot, uh, it is completely the same for these. Uh, the unboxing, I have shared with you a little bit of information about the sole plate being a pretty standard conical stud pattern setup with these extra studs that you actually get uh, that are inspired by lacrosse cleats. So you actually can see some lacrosse goals behind me. Um, it's a game that's played predominantly in the US and then I think a couple other countries. Basically it's uh, on artificial ground and they use sticks and a really small ball. It's a, kind of an interesting sport. It's almost like field hockey in a sense, uh, but because they New Balance found that those that sport was the most lateral cutting. They did the most lateral cutting in lacrosse. They decided to add that feature to these football boots as more of an agility, as more of an overall uh, sort of performing um, boot that you could do really nice lateral cuts with and also get a little bit of spring back. So, and, and I will say the execution of this has been absolutely sensational to play with. It's one of my favorite sole plates on the market. You guys know I love conical studs. I think conical studs are fantastic. I wear AGGXs all the time. I wear my A6 DS Lite XY5 all the time. Those are both like pretty much all conical studs and these are no different. Even the addition of these little bladed studs on the outside I think adds a little bit of spice to it, which is awesome. And for me, this sole plate is gonna get an 8.5 out of 10. The heel area for the New Balance Tequila follows a similar trajectory to New Balance boots that I found uh, like the Furon V7, as well as uh, the heel area from the 442 2.0 Pro. It's, you get in the boot, it feels a little bit awkward at first, and you play for about an hour to two hours, and then it softens up and becomes a perfect mold to your foot. And I think that this suede liner, it's got a nice little padding sensation on the inside as well that kind of goes as a strip along the backside to hold your ankle and Achilles tendon into the football boot, this heel area is absolutely fantastic. I think I have, I literally have had zero slippage, no rotational slippage, no up and down slippage, and then no lateral slippage sideways. And for me, that's super important when I'm thinking about a boot that I can depend on to perform at the top level, both on FG and on AG pitches, when it's wet outside, when it's dry outside, all that stuff. This heel area has done a really, really nice job. Um, my only, I would say, complaint is that there's a little bit of floppy material here on the top, which gets a little bit annoying after after some time, I wish they had just cut off this uh, that silver piece right here and then just left it as the black. But for me, that's a really small thing. So uh, for me, this heel area is gonna get an eight out of 10. The upper of the New Balance Tequila V4 is absolutely fantastic. It is one of, if not the softest knit uppers I think I've ever tried on my feet. And for that reason, it's gonna get a very, very good rating today. The only thing that I would complain about from this upper is a little bit of that lockdown, which we'll go into in a minute. Uh, but when you slip your foot in, you realize how good this hypo knit upper is. Both the Furon and the Tequila feature the same hypo knit upper. I would say the execution of it on the Furon, in my opinion, just fits me a little bit better. I like the sensation of it a little bit better. It's very free flowing. I can kind of wiggle my toes like this. You'll see some uh, B-roll of me actually wiggling my toes and you can really see how incredibly soft this upper is. And it's super nice because it molds to your foot both in the wide and in the standard fit. I haven't tried the Tequila in the standard fit variation yet, uh, which I will try to do at some point just to give you an idea of whether or not I actually fit in it as a wider foot player, but the wide fit variation with the hypo knit gives you such a nice amount of stretch and room so that you, wider footed players can really fit into this and enjoy playing in this football boot because I do think this is uh, like a like a better version of the Magista over a one reincarnated. It's, it's like that that good. I really think this upper is sensational and I think more people need to give this a look. So this upper for the Tequila is going to get an 8.5 out of 10. Now lockdown, as I mentioned in the previous section, is going to get a little bit of knocked points just because there's no official uh, technology or structuring to the midfoot area other than the lacing system. And as you can see, it does have quite a bit of uh, 
a lack of structure, which is fantastic for comfort level, touch on the ball, all that stuff. Uh, but even these little texture patterns don't add a ton of lateral stability. So I would say it's gonna get knocked down a few points just for that. Um, I, I wouldn't say I'd get slippage from it, specifically because you have that InfiniGrip uh, insole on the inside. So right there, you've got that grip element texturing on the insole, which is really awesome. So that does keep your socks and your foot planted in the inside, but it's just something that as I plant super hard, I don't want my foot to roll over at all. And I do get a little bit of that here, but not enough to be obviously dangerous or anything like that because I enjoy playing in these anyway, uh, but it's just nitpicky stuff. So the lockdown of this football boot is going to get a 7.5 out of 10. Break in time, even in the wide variation was a little bit rough, uh, simply because I think I actually got the sizing incorrect on this one. I know this is kind of wild, uh, but after testing and you can see how now, let's see if I can get this. So see how the sole plate and then the upper actually pops up even higher than the upper. So the upper actually, like I can touch the upper without touching the sole plate and just going like that, if that makes sense. There you go, that's a better view. So my toes actually kind of come over the top of this sole plate, almost like that, which makes me think, I think I got a half size down. Uh, or half size wrong. These are a 9 US. This is my usual size 9 US. I think in the Tequila though, and potentially even the Furon, I might actually need a 9.5 uh, to get the perfect fit. And I'm really excited to try a 9.5 at some point. Uh, there's a special boot, pair of boots coming soon that are this pair, but in a special colorway uh, that I'm very excited for. So that's a little sneak peek. Um, but I am kind of thinking that because of the way the sizing fit uh it's just not gonna get as good of a rating i don't think and so for me the break in time is gonna get a 6.5 out of 10 just because it took me a little bit longer to break in on that sense durability and build quality of these has been really good i've had really no complaints there's been a tiny bit of separation here on the sole plate just because these little ridges actually come up so it gives it a little bit more room to do a tiny bit of splitting. But again, we're talking like millimeters that aren't gonna affect play. They're not gonna continue to split. Like I've had these for these tiny little splits for a little while. I could probably stick some super glue in there and it would fix it, but I just couldn't be bothered, honestly. Uh, so for me, the durability and build quality of these has been really impressive. As I said in the one month review of the laceless original like launch colorway of the laceless Tequila V4s, I thought those were totally fine as far as durability and build quality goes and i think new balance has really upped the game as far as their own uh, football boots and their own durability and build quality and so for me these are going to get an 8 out of 10. shape and fit of this football boot is really fantastic as i said there's a little asterisk there which is i think i got a half size too small even though it is the 9 us i'll reiterate i probably need a 9.5 us just to get the perfect fit so that my uh, toes aren't kind of pushing over the edge of the sole plate uh, but for me the shape and the fit in the this wide foot variation is near perfect. There's not very many boots that I can say just fit so well, allow me to kind of wiggle my toes. Yeah, they're a little scrunched, but that's the whole point of football boots. Like all, all boots do that to me and, and to my toes. Uh, and, and so for me, the, the way that the width of the wide fit variation fits, the way that it feels, it's awesome. And so for me, the shape and fit of this football boot is gonna get a eight out of 10. Okay, so competition for the Tequila V4 Low there's actually quite a bit. So we're gonna go through GX, Phantom Luna from the Nike series. Those are both knit-based material football boots. You've got the Puma Ultra, or Future Ultimate, excuse me, knit-based laced low-top football boot. You've got the new Skechers SKX001, which is another knit-based low-top uh, football boot, which is awesome. And what else do you have in that list? I'm trying to think. That's about it, I would say. Maybe you have one or two more that are knit-based football boots. I'll, I'll think about it as well as I, as I continue to talk here. Uh, but for me, these are near the top of the list. I would say for me, straight out of the box, GX and SKX fit my foot perfectly. Again, pending trying a 9.5. Maybe I get into a 9.5 and I'm like, these are the best boots I've ever tried because of the sizing. Uh, it just took me a little bit longer to break these in. Now, now they're near perfect, but they just the sizing's a little weird. Uh, so for me, the GX is top of that list. SKX honestly is pretty awesome. It's a really nice football boot. It takes a little bit of time to break in. You guys will see a one month review of that coming up in the next couple weeks, I would say. Um, but for me, these are probably second on the list 
just ahead of that Skechers X SKX. Uh, the comfort of the Ultra or comfort of the Future Ultimate is good, uh, but it just lacks a little bit in the heel area and some durability issues as well. And then the Luna, uh, which I will probably make a video about uh, in the future, is just frankly a disappointment. And so that's the bottom of the list for me of those football boots. But this is up there. In fact, this is probably second right now to the GX like over all my football boots. Like this, the GX, and I guess the A6DS Lite X Fly 5 is like one of my favorite of all time. So, and, and the Morelia too. So like those four boots, and those are two leather football boots. So the, from the two knit perspective football boots, this is definitely easily, easily top two. Performance of the New Balance boot is fantastic. And I do think that this is a boot that's gonna go flying under the radar for a lot of people because they don't think New Balance is good enough of a brand. They don't think that uh, New Balance even deserves a look. But for me, the performance of this, the performance of the Furon, even the performance of the 442, which by the way, I'll just say it out here, it's the best value for money football boot you can buy as far as quality, build, uh, build quality, responsiveness, performance, quality of leather, all that stuff, materials and everything. It is a fantastic football boot. And I think right now, New Balance is probably top three football boot brands in the world, I would say. Like the stuff that they're doing is pretty insane. And so for me, this is no different. This Tequila, uh, they made the high top laceless version. Everyone was like, oh my God, this is like a Magista Obra can you make a low top laceless version or laced version? And they were like, yeah, why not? Let's do it. So they did and it's near perfect. And I think the performance of this football boot definitely follows suit. It's gonna get an 8.5 out of 10 for performance. Overall, it's not gonna be a surprise. This football boot is gonna get really, really high marks. I think this football boot is absolutely fantastic and I recommend it for so many people because New Balance being brilliant as they are, went for a regular fit and a wide fit, which I think is something that more football boot brands need to do. I think the big brands that have the money and that have the ability to, sh it, sh it shouldn't even be a question. They should start doing it because they're gonna get more customers, they're gonna get more people involved in their brand and enjoying their brand. But for somebody, uh, a, a, a company that's not, say, as big as Adidas or Puma or Nike, for them to be able to do this in a wide fit and in a regular standard fit makes me super happy on top of the fact that they've made a killer product. This New Balance Tequila V4 is a product that I am so, so impressed by. And I really do think more people need to take a look at this because it is fantastic. Hopefully they're gonna come out with some more really cool new colorways as well. Um, I actually fancy this. I think this bronze colorway looks really cool, uh, but some people I know think it's kind of crap, but whatever, hey. I'm entitled to my own opinion and you are as well. This is gonna get an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. This football boot is awesome and you definitely need to consider it for your next football boot in the rotation. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I will leave the first link down in the description box below for my new game analysis um, service. Basically what I do is I do for your touches what I do for my touches. So I take all the footage that you have of a specific game all the touches, you compile them together, you send them to me, and I'm able to go through, record myself doing a full analysis, give you my perspective as a professional player, having played in multiple positions, give you guys good uh, tactical sort of IQ and give you some ideas there, as well as things you can improve on and be able to exploit the things you're really, really good at. That's always so important moving up into the upper echelons of football is knowing what you're good at and making sure you do that on a consistent basis. So that is available down below in the description box below. It is an awesome service. I'm really excited to start to provide it. We've had some really cool, um, like all my touches videos already and I'm really excited to share that with you as well. If you got video, if you got video from value, if you got value from this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, be awesome, take care. I'll see y'all in the next video.